Now, Auric is ever so easy to grow and it is really used for the end of the season. So it's a great one for filling in your beds and borders after some of your hardy annuals have gone over. It likes a germination temperature of about 20 to 22 degrees. It should be fine in the greenhouse now. If not, pop it on a heat mat or take it up to the house if the weather is cool. And at this time of the year, I find it germinates naturally in the garden, which is why I'm recommending that that's when you sow it. Because otherwise, if you sow things when they're out of season, they need too much work to get them to germinate and they need too much care to look after them. Wow, look at the auric. How's that for an end of the season foliage villa? Absolutely incredible. This is our Swan Cottage blend. This is the bed that you saw in the video with the auric towering out of the top of Neil's frames. And can you see, Mother Nature has decided it is auric time. So you sowing your seeds today is perfectly in tune with nature. Look, I've got all three colours coming up here. That's very exciting. I shall fish some of these out. I'll leave some and fish some out and put them where I want them to go. So I'm just sowing the auric one seed per cell onto the surface of the compost. Now you can cover it with a sprinkle of compost if you want to. I never bother. I find it's absolutely fine just as it is. And you can see that I've pre-moistened the tray so that I don't need to water it too much later on. There we go. Just give them a little tap so they're in good contact with the compost and they will absorb the moisture and germinate. Now auric is actually an edible plant. They call it mountain spinach or French spinach because it's got nice tender leaves. However, for floristry, we want to use it at the other end of the season when it's going to seed. And the little seed pots look like hundreds and hundreds of little coins. They're really cute. Now, because of that, the plants are going to be big by the end of the season. So I will pinch my auric. You don't have to, just like Amaranthus, if you want some statuesque, dramatic garden decoration, then you can leave some of your plants unpinched. But if you do want to use it for bouquets and arrangements, then you'll find those stems a bit too big and weighty. Um, and therefore we'll give those ones a pinch. I'm so glad the seeds are behaving themselves for you and you're having so much success. So these are my auric. You can see that I've already moved mine on into bigger cells. You can use the 15 cells, you can use pots. I just used these because they were hanging around in the shed, not being used. There we go. So obviously you don't have to pinch it if you want to have a big statement plant, but if you want to have some flower arranging foliage, then you need to take these tips out. At this point, it would be really useful to show you one I've done earlier. Now I haven't done my amaranthus yet, doing that today with you, but this is my auric. So can you see exactly the same process can you see where I pinched it there oh there's a weed get out of there so I pinched there we go and the leaves are also edible so I'm going to take these out put them in the fridge and they will bulk up my salad this beautiful apple green auric I'm just giving it a shake it's a tiny bit wobbly still so I think it might just be a little bit early for picking that so I'm going to leave it a little bit longer so it's nearly November and we've still got plenty in the garden to be excited about. This is the auric. This is Dahlia Silver Jubilee. I just thought that looked beautiful with the auric. And this is our Swan Cottage auric collection. Let's just move these flowers out of the way. So you can see. We have the apple green. We've got this beautiful coppery bronze. And then this is the red. They look amazing just jumbled up it gives the foliage a bit of depth don't you think look at that it's just incredible and the sun's out too what could be better all the information is also covered on page number 24 of your spring handbook i just thought i'd bring you around this side and then you can have a proper look absolutely magnificent